what is up everybody um post that video yesterday of southwest uh cards and breaks and i wanted to do something i said i was going to do uh with the old dnt breaks with the famous brandon cooks out of 99 brandon cooks so i'm going to play that video here real quick uh it's real short you can't really find the actual video anymore probably the only piece known to existence anymore happened a few years ago i think in like 2017 or 18 but let's go ahead and get to that video then i'll hit with what i want to talk about with the video and for the final box of honors before we start the playoff everybody you took a look at the video first thank you again as always for the support to the channel um i'm glad to i, I shouldn't say glad but i'm ha i like to bring this stuff out to everybody's knowledge this stuff's been going on for a while and you know a lot of people need to be made aware of stuff like this because they're new to the hobby and everything so first about the video you see as soon as he opens the box up dude's shaking the fumbling things around you know there's a big hit in there you know it. It's not like, you know, a big hit that you're going to show on screen shaking. This is way different because the guy switched out stuff. Uh, if you pay attention, you know, he's sitting there trying to think in his head. You can tell with his speech and everything, too, with going, you know, Brandon Cooks at 99, Brandon Cooks. You can hear him fumbling if you turn your volume up, too, with the one touch is clinging in the background. So you can tell he's about ready to do the old bait and switch and not talking about dating and stuff like that. But uh at the same time frame the other part of sketchy is i'm gonna use this playbook box we're gonna say rushman's there he takes this over top to where you can't see nothing that's wrong he only has one camera i got it breakers like to do that i used to like doing it too to where you hide so people can't see what the next card is but you still have a top camera purpose top camera is looking down to show that you're not doing anything shady trying to switch anything out in the long run um with that being said, this is when you hear me always talk about Brandon Cooks, especially when I pull Brandon Cooks out of 99, while I get, you know, the old chuckle and joking around about it. But, I mean, really, it sucks for the people who are in these breaks. Because now, they might be ruining a the hobby. They might not want to ever get in a break again. There's a lot of good breakers out there. A lot. They've been doing it for five-plus years. Um, they're constantly on here. I know people ask me why I don't do it anymore. Just the product's gotten way out of reach, and I'd rather just open it up and show you guys what's in it and work some deals out. Some people like to get personal boxes from me, which I'll still do. Occasionally, I'll do some full case breaks if I get them on pre-order and stuff. But allocations have just dwindled away unless you're spending ten, twenty thousand 20000 a week from my understanding anymore from what I get from everybody else. But back to the situation at hand. This is a perfect video of something that happened a long time ago. The video is really, really hard to find. There's other scam videos out there as well, too. There's a, uh, what was his name, Max, uh, like, Fleck or something like that that was out there. Uh, where the guy hit it on screen, see his hand go underneath and swapping a card out. 
I believe it was like a Bowman Chrome, if I do recall right, HTA probably as well. And then you also have the uh, infamous basketball one too, to where the guy has a redemption. It's probably like Jordan or I don't know LeBron from back in the day. And he doesn't know what the redemption is. Oh, well, I don't know what this stuff is. You can clearly see from underneath the way his card was at, or the angle the camera was to the card, it's a redemption. Everybody knew it was. So, again, the best thing I can tell everybody, you know, I'll try to bring these to where as I can. If you guys see stuff out there that's going on, I don't catch. I think I'm going to start posting stuff like this. Fre well, not frequently, but as it happens. Hopefully it's not frequently. Um... You guys can check out the Sports Card Scammers page on uh, Facebook as well, too. I'll put a link down there. There's so much stuff in there. Just uh, be very knowledgeable. It's some of this stuff is not scams. It's basically non-payers and stuff like that, too. People to block on eBay. Uh, you, you'll see what I mean when you go in there and you start tro or scrolling through. I was going to say trolling through. Do not troll that group. Do not troll that group. Scrolling through the, the group and the feed and stuff like that. They got a huge database. Um, use it for what you need. Uh, you always check out stuff. And you can read comments, make your own conclusions when stuff. It could go either way onto it. You just never know. You never know offhand. You never do. But I'll try to see if I can dig up some more of the older videos as well, too. They're really hard to find. And try to get some... Uh, uh, show you some of the older stuff that happened in the past as well, too. Like I said, if you're not keeping product on a screen, just go away from them people. If you want to bust them out in chat, you can. Um, that's Like I said, if they, you should have a top camera if you're trying to hide so people can't see what the next card is to give that the suspense and stuff like that there. But, uh, I've been, like I said, I've been preaching this for about two, three years, and Hopefully now that people are actually seeing video evidence and don't really do social media of this stuff, it starts making you wary who you break with out there and get into stuff with. Other than that, everybody, I hope you guys have a good weekend. If your team's still in the playoffs, hopefully they do well this weekend. I'll be back with some videos next week as well. Um, other than that, have a good weekend. Uh, if you want that uh, link to the scammers group on Facebook, it'll be in the description. As, as always, feel free to blow the comments up on here. I try to answer everybody's comments all the time. It may take me a little bit. And I do appreciate the support. As always, thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications type deal. Probably looking about another two to three weeks to the next uh, little quick uh, auction and deals uh, night. But thank you, everybody. I will see you later.